Okay. What is wrong with you, Gimbal? Why is it I'm a shit fit? I'm having a shit fit. Leave it where I set it. So, the video you've all been waiting for is finally here. The introduction to the new team of horses. Some of you will see on Facebook and Insta stories a little sneak preview. Um, maybe we should start with them. We will start with them. So, we're going to enter the field of my two new Spanish boys. So we've got four new horses in total, four. And I've only told people or hinted at, I've hinted at them all, but very, very subtle hints. Why can't I do the gate? Oh, it's because the thing's falling down. So I've hinted at two. I've actually hinted at four, but two more, obviously. So yeah, there's four new horses for my show team uh, to train up. All at different points in their training, of their lives, their career, came to me in different circumstances. So we'll start with... Aero. Hey, mate. Hey mate, he's lost his ear. Not really, not with real ear, like the fly mask. Let's get this back in. So Aero is a, I believe, 12, he's either 12 or 13. 12 or 13 year old Spanish gelding. He was bought over from Spain, I think, during COVID 2020, uh, and was sold then, bought by someone in England, then sold to another person. Uh, I think maybe one more. Yeah, there's a couple of sales in England and he's been at the owners that I got him from from two years. So, uh, he was trained in Spain. Oh, a little preview of the other one. I'll get to him in a minute. He was trained in Spain. Um, he's, he's very uh, defensive. He's very defensive. When I went to go and see him, he's got like Spanish walk on him, but it's is like aggressive towards the whip. He doesn't really understand um, the pressures. He does everything with a worry that he's going to get told off. So, but like, like you can see, like I've done a couple of sessions with him and he's just like, he wants to be your mate. He's like, yeah, what we doing? Uh, super cool dude. So that's, that's Aero. Um, he's, what are you? About 14.3. Um, so he's about 14.3. My little pocket rocket. Um, super cool temperament. Super cool personality. Um, so my job initially, uh, obviously he's going to be a show horse, but my job initially is to um, get him to be chilled with people because I imagine he's the sort that's been trained in Spain quite firmly. Um, not really understand what's required, so therefore it's become a bit aggressive to to people, to whips in particular, and then they're really reactive to aids in the sense that he'll he thinks he's going to get it wrong and then thinks he's going to get like beaten or something. Um, I'm not talking, sure entirely, but that's the impression I get from his responses and stuff. But he's he's yeah super cool, and like you see, he likes the human interaction um as well so yeah what a boy aren't you mate he is one part of the twins so him and pinzon the other horse are known now as the twins i didn't plan this it just happened and it's a great thing to happen so here is pinzon Maybe you can see why they're called the twins. Hey, Pin. He's like, whatever, whatever. So you can see he looks almost identical 
to Aero. Aero's got his fly mask on. There's a little feels, mate, Romeo. So pins on is, yeah, the same size. There they are together. The same size. <laughs> yeah, you need to be mates. And Pinzon is in charge. Pinzon is 13. He's super, super quiet. Super just chill, reliable. He's like, I've been in before. Yeah, man, life's cool. He is that sort of horse, that sort of temperament, which is brilliant. So together, they make a perfect pair. They really, really do. Um, not just for their colour and their size uh, and their matchiness, but their temperaments, although they're different, really different, almost opposite, they sort of complement each other a little bit as well. Aero can take um, take uh, confidence from Pin, and yeah, Pin's on's just super cool, super super cool. So yeah, they're um, they're my new my new Spanish boys, the twins absolutely awesome so i'm gonna I'm gonna start teaching them some stuff arrows a little bit a little bit footy on the front leg it's just like it's not it's lame but it's not lame it's just like um like slightly short strides um on his left four so yeah we're gonna we're gonna just uh manage that just just sort of judge it see what see if it comes the fire has been out um so yeah just gonna sort of hopefully get things right they're two chubby spanish boys so they're not on a lot of grass as you can see when they have hay they're on uh, soaked hay but yeah they're awesome here's the boys Hello. Bloody good boy. Yeah. What a man. What a man. And then we've got Pin. Tell the difference by Pin's uh, mane. He's got some highlights. Pin, can we see your mane? There you, go. you can see the highlights on that. Good boy. Good boy. But yeah, I'm uh, excited to do these do these boys. We started work yesterday. And yeah, let's see where we can get to. Pin, I know you're buddies now, but come on. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the yard as well, as we're doing lots of reveals today. I'll show you a little bit of the yard and the fields. So pins on an arrow over the road where there's less grass. Um, cause yeah, they're more chubby boys. And um, yeah, the other two are over. What's going on with the gimbal? There we go. The other two are over this way. How gorgeous is this? Church in the background, all the ponies, it's dead quiet. Absolutely love it. Perfect setting. So these are some grass gallops we can use as well so that'll be good when we get the Hungarian post going to get used to like fields and uh, open spaces and stuff don't think that'll be too soon but not in the too distant future so as you come around the corner this is where The magic is. This is where two more of our ponies are. So hopefully I can set this up and it won't get battered. 
by the horses coming over, but we will see. Alright, so here we go. Hey guys! Hey! So we've got three mares here and three foals. Look at that all in a line. If you stop there, <whistles> no, kinda, yes, perfect. Perfect, look at you guys. So, two of these mares, not the foals, unfortunately, but two of these mares, once they're weaned, from their foals are gonna gonna come and join the crew. Hey foleys, hey foleys, hey, hey, hey. So of course the foals get most of the attention, don't they? Yeah, of course you do. Of course. Hey. So this one, this one is Flo. This foal. This is. Who are you? You're Romeo. You are Romeo. This one is Romeo. Hey. And then we've got Miami, the lighter bay at the back, if you see her. And then we've got, who have we got horse-wise? Your mum is Beans. Your mum is, who's your mum? Your mum is India. So India, the mum of this one, is one of our horses and then your mum is v he's also one of our horses yeah yeah hey hey so if we get this camera well hopefully i'll be able to show you not the foals. <laughs> hey, Miami. Hey, Romeo. Um, yeah, Romeo, guys. This one right here is still available. This one isn't, and this one isn't. But this one is, and he is Skyline to be, uh, and... Tokyo, I believe, out of Totalas. So let's go to the mares. The... Right, I've got three brown horses here. <laughs> is it bad when you don't know? <laughs> three brown horses. So the biggest one is you. So you must be V. So this one's this one's a V. So this is one of the horses. Yeah, thanks, Miami. V is one of the horses that is going to come and join us uh, once once weaned. Um, so super cool, super chilled out in the field, really good mum. She is seven or eight years old and was a dressage horse before she had foals. Um, so yeah, she just just needed an easier time at foals and stuff. So yeah, she'll come and join the join the crew. And it will very much depend on how her body responds to the training and how strong she gets. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have taught flow this, should I, as a um, as a newborn foal. But there you go. Bum scratches all around. So, yeah, that is that is V. That is one of ours coming to join the crew. Isn't that right, Flo? Uh, you're not Flo. Miami. Sorry. And then we've got... India, who's also coming to join the crew, which I believe I believe this is India, the darker, the darker one. So India again, like V, uh, was about about under ten years old. She was put into foal again, had a dressage home um, and stuff, and then yeah. But to have a foal so both of them 
<laughs> Thanks, Foley. Both of them have uh, been out, they've competed, they've done dressage, and they're now, now having an easy life having a foal. So it'll very much depend on um, how they come back into work, their body, how their body can respond to the work. I'm going to bring them back into work like uh, without, without the pressure of working in an outline, without doing dressage. They're going to come back initially and learn to be a pair for Hungarian post. So that is when you stand up on two horses behind, which will be the Spanish boys, and then the two in front, almost like driving horses, are going to be out in front as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach them, um, I'm gonna teach them to be, to be those two initially, because uh, then they don't need a rider on, right? And they can use their bodies, and they can get back into, into working, and they can learn to stay together. Obviously, they're finding a field together. They know each other well. They've sorted out their herd dynamics. So that will definitely be. Um, definitely be part of the plan. So either they've swapped foals, or I've got the foals wrong, or I've got the mares wrong. Because you are Romeo, I'm sure of it. Look at his colourings. How cool is that? Look at you, man. So either the mums have swapped foals, which is, to be fair, that's happened before. That happens multiple times. Um, and or I've got the mares wrong. Hmm. These the big one. I think you're definitely V. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So it's out of these two. We've got an India and Beans. Now India's the one joining the crew. Beans is not, because Beans is back in foal. Now you look more in foal, I'd say. So, yeah. Yeah, I think you're India. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We will check the the breeder of all these foals. Heartbreaker dressage horses is going to see this video and go, you don't even know what the horses are. But to be fair to me, look, brown, 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 brown. The foals are separate because we've got an almost black one, a light, a light brown one, and then we've got the one with the colour on the legs and the this one, haven't we mate? But they're all super super friendly, you can tell by the foals how sort of the mums are and how chilled it all is which I absolutely love. <laughs> so this is what happens when you teach when you teach the babies bum scratches, they start walking backwards into you, don't they Miami? Don't they? That's what can you smell? Love how inquisitive they are. Waiting for it to turn around now. Eh, have we got a new Liberty team here? Nope. Because <laughs> bug life comes in the way. How cool. How cool. So yeah, these are going to get weaned in at the end of September. So I'll start coming to see the mares, um, coming to sort of like lead them together, start teaching them a little bit that they're going to be a team. Um, but I won't start proper work until they're weaned um, at the end of September. But gives me time to work on the Spanish twins first. It's super cool, super cool. Again, these ones have done some dressage before, so it'll be interesting to see if... Uh, little bits of that can come back out um, when the bodies are capable of it. But yeah, there's two mares to add to the team. Uh, so yeah, super, super fortunate to have the opportunity to, um, to work them, to see what we can do with them. And uh, hopefully, all being well, just get over this gate. We'll have a... Uh, 
a nice team of horses that all work together well and um yeah enjoy their enjoy their job somewhat of an easier job than maybe they've had before so uh, it might suit them might suit them quite well in a full-on competition um so yeah so that is our big reveal i'm super excited to start working with these horses i've started working with the spanish boys already yesterday we started that um so yeah i'm going to document some of their training along the way if you want to see that if you want to see the series of how these horses are going to go from in a field having done nothing to in the show arena then uh, like subscribe comment on the videos uh, of what you want to see we've got the whole process to do so i can document what bits you want of that as much as possible it is with camera crew and things like that but yeah super super excited that is the big reveal four new horses i'm so fortunate um, to be able to have these horses uh, to come and join the show team and yeah let's get going <laughs>